Well, the current situation is more related to the spent fuel pit than the reactors themselves. Uh, the situation with the reactors you know, appears to be under control. But the spent fuel pit is, is a concern now because um, the spent fuel pit, the barrier, is really only the secondary containment, um, which has been violated. Um, so what we want to do now is make sure that the spent fuel remains covered and cooled. The spent fuel is there in Unit 4 because that reactor was um, undergoing maintenance. This is a regular process that's performed. So the entire core is removed and moved into a spent fuel pit, which is outside of the primary containment. It's in the secondary containment. And so what we have there right now um, are all of the fuel rods you know, that had been irradiated in, in several previous cycles. And um, unfortunately, that's where they were when the tsunami hit. And so the concern now is that we um, retain cooling you know, to the spent fuel pit so that the, the fuel um, does not experience um, any um, boiling, or the, the water doesn't experience any boiling, and the fuel wouldn't possibly you know, undergo melting. The heat source of that spent fuel is considerably reduced um, because it's been there for several weeks. When the, when the fuel, uh, when the reactor is first shut down, the, um, the uh, power level of the rods immediately is, is about um, down to about 7%. And then it falls, you know, two after 10 days um, to less than a percent. And so if we're at several weeks, then we're down even smaller than that. But that still is going to be several megawatts. And in order to remove that megawatt, that, that megawatts of heat, what we require is um, to have, again, water covering all of the fuel. And so that's the concern. The worst thing that can happen right now is we, we could expose the fuel rods you know, to the air. That could be then down to our last barrier. And there cannot be a, a recriticality. What that means, we could not have a nuclear explosion. That simply cannot occur. It's physically impossible in this kind of system. Our concern now is, is simply the radiation levels. And if we have uh, fission products you know, released, the volatile fission products released, then that will contribute you know, to the radiation level and then again make it more and more difficult for workers to um, you know, to, to work in the vicinity of the plant um, because of, you know, the need over the course of now, you know, several weeks, you know, to continually to monitor the situation and to ensure that cooling um, is maintained.